Come on, Lipos. We're almost there. Hurry up. So I'm off to uh, Panola County RC this morning or this afternoon, at least hoping that the weather holds off so we can get some run time. Uh, I just realized though I don't have my keys in my car. Got the keys, let's do this thing, man. But I haven't actually seen the track yet, so I'm super psyched to see what it has to offer. I, I expect good things. But I got an update from Brandon. I asked him what the weather was like. He said there's no rain over there. I'm Here's a view from the driver's stand. Let me kind of give you guys a good rundown of what the track looks like. Brandon's put in a ton of work. I mean, blood, sweat, and tears, and hairs, apparently. A quick update on the track we're over here doing some uh, some practice laps and of course I don't know if you can tell or not but it is raining so anyway just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the track and then let you guys give a big thank you to Mr. Panola County RC himself <laughs> Brandon thank you man this track is legit, legit. it is it's absolutely legit uh, a couple guys out here that are kind of running with us of course we've got Paul Williams say hi Paul what's up all right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick just the track, just kind of give you the overlay of the track, just kind of in general. It's it's a huge track, man. Once you're out here, it's fantastic. I was running four-wheel drive short course, and it was just, it was just perfect. Now, the coolest thing about the track is, other than the fact that it's packed really well, is that it's actually really nice for the 10 scale four-wheel drive buggies. Paul and Jonathan both were out here with their 10 scale four-wheel drive buggies, their Technos uh, EB410s, and they worked great out here. Uh, the tire of choice, I'd say something more like a block style with a softer compound, uh, something like hole shots. What do you think, Paul? Hole shots or... Maybe yeah, maybe caliber, something like that. But yeah, the track the track is, is fantastic. It's huge. It's got this gnarly double right here, right after the tabletop. Kind of come around this tabletop right behind me onto this double, which really, instead of it launching you upwards on that double, it more kind of just lets you sail across it. It skims the surface. It's perfect. Around the corner, onto another double that does the same thing, and then the big old ta tabletop back there behind me right here. We're gonna call that the uh, the send it jump. Let me not fall while I'm walking backwards, kind of showing you what I'm talking about here. But here it is. This is the, uh, I guess, the send it jump. This thing's about, I don't know, I want to say about four feet off the ground, and it really just kind of lets you sail upward. And so it's really gonna take a little bit of uh, of getting used to on that jump. But once you hit that, you're really just kind of coming around this way, there, and then you're hitting the triple. Now. I tried all day and I could not hit that triple. I had to hit it more like a double single. And and that's all right. And then the coolest thing in the back here after the the back corner is right before the straightaway, right there. Let's see if you can see that there. There's a jump just kind of like a brick wall right before the straight. So just a couple little things for you guys to get used to, but overall and awesome track it's very well packed the clay feels really good the traction is awesome so can't wait for the series to start and see you guys over here got an issue that keeps coming off <laughs> 